Now today's gonna be a good day, today's gonna be a great day, and a portion of today's video has been sponsored by NHTSA. And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to vlog. It is another gorgeous day here in the beautiful state of Utah. Now, a couple weeks ago, we appraised my entire car collection. We went car by car and we gave each car an appraised value based off market comparables. But there's so much more to cars than just the purchase price. There's things like insurance and emissions and registration and fuel. You can imagine a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster does not get the most miles per gallon. It does do some miles per gallon. But of course, the granddaddy of them all, we have maintenance. Now in my car collection I have 15 cars and each car tells a very different story. As you can imagine a Bugatti Veyron from a maintenance standpoint you guys have heard the nightmares. It's true. You can trust me. We have cars like the Aventador as well which are just constantly breaking and I have two of them. But then we have old reliable trusty American made cars with warranties. The maintenance on the C8 Corvette is effectively negligible. We have a bunch of cars off in the warehouse. You're going to be surprised. Some of these cars the maintenance the running cost is astronomical and on that bombshell I'm excited to announce this portion of today's video has been sponsored by NHTSA. Now NHTSA the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is dedicated to keeping people safe on America's roadways. Which is why today guys we're going to talk about advanced driver assistance technology and why you might want to consider them when you buy your next car. Now in 2020, unfortunately, 38,680 people died in car crashes and a lot of these crashes were caused by human error. Now these advanced driver system technologies, they have the potential to mitigate this risk. Now you're probably familiar with some of these technologies, things like lane keeping assistance, blind spot intervention, rear automatic braking, and even automatic high beams. Now these technologies not only protect you, they also protect your passengers, they protect other drivers as well as pedestrians. Now I really love automatic high beams. Late at night, you're driving down on the highway using photometric sensors or onboard cameras they can actually detect oncoming traffic turn your high beams on or off automatically it protects you and it protects the other drivers another technology that I love is blind spot intervention let's say for example you're driving down the highway and there's a vehicle in your blind spot the system is going to activate the blind spot warning to alert you the driver of that vehicle if you start to drift into that lane the system is going to automatically either apply light brake pressure or steering input as needed now next time you're looking to buy a newer used vehicle consider vehicles equipped with these advanced advanced driver assistance technologies to keep you and your loved ones safe. These technologies have the potential to reduce traffic crashes and to save thousands of lives every single year. Just click the link below or visit nitsa.gov slash driver tech to learn more about these amazing technologies. Thank you to NHTSA for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now we're gonna go car by car and give you guys the running cost for each individual car. Now a lot of the expenses are unique to that car. Others are kind of sort of boring and have to happen every single year. It's the same rate for every single car. For example, emissions in the state of Utah. Every single car has to pass emissions once a year. It's $39.99. Every single car is $39.99. We're not gonna talk about it again. Registration, for example, it's like 200 plus dollars. The grand total for registration and emissions for all 15 cars for one single year is $4,119. Now one of the big questions I get asked all the time insurance for supercars. Now there's a bunch of different factors. For example, I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. The insurance rate is specific to this location. If I lived in Manhattan, the rate might be double. If I lived in the middle of nowhere, North Dakota, it might be half the price. Age is also a really big factor. If I was 17 years old, I'd be paying up the roof for an Aventador. If I was 75, probably a lot less. I'm 33 years old. I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I have no accidents. I have no tickets on my record. That's right, baby. I have no tickets on my record. My Lamborghini Aventador Coupe insurance, $197 every single month. Now, some of the other associated running costs on the Aventador Coupe, we have tires, for example. These tires are expensive. I haven't shredded any tires on this car whatsoever. That is a big fat zero. Now, I did do an annual service on this car for $2,557. Basic annual service, oil change, whatnot, some other related nonsense. Now, in prior years, I spent a whole Lot more on this car, but in 2021, 2022, that car has been bulletproof. Now, the Aventador Roadster, a slightly different story. Now, this is by far and away my favorite car in the entire collection. I love the Aventador Roadster more than anything else. To say the car is reliable, though, would be a slight vast overstatement. This car has been a maintenance headache, a maintenance nightmare. Just in the last four months, not the entire year, just the last four months, I have dropped $11,093. You guys might remember the dashboard was one big Christmas tree, lights going off everywhere, it had the transmission fault, the car was in limp mode. We had the catalyst over temperature. It was burning all that oil just a couple weeks ago. So yeah, $11,093. I put brand new tires on, $1,035. Insurance every month, 228 bucks. Now uh, my 2003 Lamborghini Murcielago. This car is almost 20 years old. You might remember when I bought this car, it had that pulsating issue. It was dying. We had that sorted. We had an annual service done on the car at Lamborghini Salt Lake, $5,822. Now insurance on the Murcielago. This car is worth a fortune. It's worth easily double of the Aventador. The Aventador is 191 a month. 
The Murcielago, 127 a month. I don't know. I don't, I don't make the numbers. I just pay the invoices, 127 a month. And of course we have the granddaddy of them all, my 2008 Bugatti Veyron. Now you guys have heard the horror stories on Veyrons. My car has been bulletproof. Like it has had basically no issues whatsoever. So this is maintenance cost on a reliable Bugatti Veyron. I think we need a drum roll. One service, this was for one service, $35,000 for one and nothing was broken. $35,118. So $35,000 for an annual service. I think there was an airbag warning light as well. You guys might remember I got that flat tire last September at the runway event when I raced the Chiron. I need to replace that OEM tire. I haven't done it yet because when you get a flat tire, you have to replace all four and it is $38,000. So obviously we're on aftermarket tires. Now insurance on the Bugatti, I feel like I get a pretty good deal considering the car's value, $418 every single month. Now next up we have my 2020 Corvette C8 widebody. We've got the Panem kit. Now we're not including any of the modifications in this video whatsoever. We have the FI exhaust, we have the widebody kit, we did the paint, the wheels, the tires. We're not including any of that. This is simply running costs. Now this car has a warranty and God bless warranties because I've owned this car for just over a year and the grand total in its entirety, $104 and 72 cents for one single oil change. We also have insurance every single month, $106. Now on to another reliable car. We have the 2013 Ferrari 458 Spider. Love this car and it's been pretty reliable. Now we did do an annual service, $4,704. That was all the basic maintenance. It kind of comes with the territory. We also added new tires for $1,212. Insurance, which is pretty good as well, 182 bucks. Now I'm gonna have to pull out my notes for the Nissan GTR because it gets kind of sort of crazy. So tires alone, just tires, $4,275.82. Bear in mind, I've only had this car back for three weeks and we've already spent $4,000 on tires. Uh, we have done a $300 oil change. Not too bad on maintenance. Insurance is $118. Now in the future, we put $100,000 into this car. It has 1,800 horsepower. I guarantee you when we make this video a year from today, it's gonna be a lot more than $300. So uh, enjoy the moment because the future is gonna be sad. And up next, we have, of course, the Safari. We got the Yaris. And yes, these are the two black sheep in the family. Both cars are for sale, but I gotta pay for that house somehow. Now, I love my Lamborghini Yaris, but there's one problem with the Yaris. I never drive it. I don't have a wife. I have no kids. I have no prospects. I once had a second date, but obviously that went nowhere. I never drive the thing. In the last year, I put like 1,200 miles on it. I did do an annual service for $2,955, mainly because I'm trying to sell it. It's a good selling point. We drove it in the snow one single time, and so I bought winter tires for that one single time. $864, most expensive donuts of my entire life, and I insure it for $167 a month. Lamborghini yours. Now I always say the Porsches are the best engineered cars in the world and the Safari is no different. I've only done one thing. We replaced the starter for 800 bucks. I insured for $104. That's it. That's all we got. Now if the Corvette taught me anything, I love warranties and the Ram TRX is exactly the same. Now insurance is kind of steep for a truck, but it does have a Hellcat 702 horsepower. I pay $114 a month. I've done one oil change in the year that I've had it for $295. That's it. Now up next we have my 2020 Jeep Gladiator 6x6 Hellasaurus. The maintenance bill on this thing is absolutely wild. I've said this before, it's the best built 6x6 in the entire world. The maintenance is zero, it's zero. I have not spent one single dollar maintaining this Gladiator in the last year and the insurance is only $56 a month. Now that being said, I do get six miles to the gallon, so make up for it in other ways. Now we're back at the warehouse to talk about some more cars. We have AMG Boy directly behind me. That is Luke's daily driver, not my car. We have the Nismo, not my car. Super my car. We have the NASCAR, not my car. And we also have the Ferrari 430 Challenge race car. Now insurance on this, $146 a month. Honestly, for a Ferrari factory race car, not that bad. Maintenance, zero, zilch, nothing, absolutely nothing. This car has so many issues though. We're gonna pull the motor, we're gonna pull the trans, we're gonna put it on the wall, so. None of those really matter. Now, of course, we also have my 97 Toyota Super Turbo. They always say Toyotas are super reliable. We drove this baby back from Miami. We've done an oil change, a transmission flush, $345. And insurance is only $68. Now, we also have to talk about my Polaris Racer, which the observant viewer would note had just a slightly minor hiccup, you might say. Now, the insurance on the Razor is $74. I did not make a claim when I rolled this. I did not make a claim. So if my insurance agent is watching today's video, don't worry about it, didn't happen. Now, of course, we still have the Gallardo and we still have the Countach. So the Gallardo haven't done any maintenance, no tires. I do pay insurance on it, $111 every single month. The Countach insurance is only $116 a month, which is crazy because the Countach is worth upwards of $600,000, $700,000. And yet cars like the Urus cost more to insure every single month. Now, maintenance on the Countach, 
we're not saving money there. I have put $50,722 into that car to get it running. I haven't driven the car yet. It should be back here in Utah in maybe a month or so. Also a fun fact on the Countach, it gets seven. That's right, seven miles to the gallon. Well, we have reached the end of the vlog. We're gonna summarize all the running costs and give you guys the grand total. So, I have my vehicle summary, my Excel spreadsheet that I'm very proud of. You guys know I used to be an accountant in a past life. I like to nerd out, I like to geek out on this kind of stuff. We have all the cars that I own, the year I purchased, the year I sold them, uh, purchase price. We have insurance costs, so grand total insurance that I pay every single year, $28,065. Maintenance in the last year, $114,821. Uh, in tires alone, $7,368. Registration and emissions, $4,119. Sales tax, kind of an interesting fact. So the purchase price of all the cars total of my entire car collection is $3,356,000. Sales tax in the state of Utah is 6.85%. Quick arithmetic, that is $229,891 in sales tax. And on that bombshell, today's video is over. Just in the last four months, I have dropped 11,090. Splitter is in good shape, though. You need a new splitter. <laughs> really good shape. <laughs> that just cost that you $5,000. <laughs>